Tragically, Kylie Rodney was found dead in her car by Adventures with Purpose. Since learning the awful news, I have been wondering, was it a tragic accident or did something much, much more sinister happen to Kylie? So the most plausible explanation really would be that Kylie Rodney crashed her car into a body of water because she was intoxicated. But could Kylie's SUV have been pushed into the water and was it a murder and not an accident? I have been left with many questions and the reason I have so many questions really is because so many people that were at this so-called massive party have not come forward and have not spoken to the police. Why is there such a wall of silence? Is it because there were drugs at the party? Is it because people have a guilty conscience for perhaps providing Kylie with alcohol and drugs? Or is it just as simple as Kylie's friends having a very, very guilty conscience because they didn't make sure that she got home safely? I imagine all will become clear when Kylie's autopsy is done and toxicology will prove one way or the other whether Kylie really was drunk and or on drugs. Something I want to say now, and I should have said at the start of my video, is how amazing are Adventures With Purpose. I've followed their channel for quite some time. I really enjoy their content, even though a lot of their videos can be extremely upsetting, especially the ones where they do find deceased people in bodies of water. But at least they bring answers and closure to missing people's families. They really do do outstanding work. All of their work is done on a voluntary basis and they work from donations from very kind members of the public. So I would like to say if anybody out there can afford to make a small donation or a big donation to Adventures with Purpose, please do and please do show them your support. Even if you can't make a donation, please let them know just how amazing they are and how grateful we all are for them finally finding Kylie Rodney. My initial thoughts are, if this was a tragic accident, could people at this party have heard Kylie's car hitting the water? Could they have seen her crash? Or did they hear something happening? And did certain people that might have witnessed the crash or heard the crash not spoken out because of fear that they're going to get in trouble for being at a party where drugs and alcohol were being given to minors. I really hope there's no foul play involved. Perhaps the dodgy behaviour from some of Kylie's friends were purely because they knew they'd been at a party where drugs and alcohol were going on. And is it just that these young people did not want to speak out for fear of getting in trouble themselves? Perhaps some of them didn't tell their parents where they were that night. Perhaps some of them do drugs regularly and their parents have no idea. It could be as simple as that, but is it? I have a very, very suspicious mind and I just hope that my suspicions about Kylie Rodney's friends are incorrect. I have to say I found Sammy disappearing to another state when the news broke that AWP would be helping to search for Kylie very very dodgy but was it just that sammy wanted to get away from all of the attention she was getting and did it all become a bit much is she not involved at all and is she just a rather unemotional person that didn't seem that fussed or bothered in my opinion about her friend going missing and perhaps she's not involved at all and maybe she was never really that good of friends with kylie rodney I have so many questions, there's so much I want to say. I'm just heartbroken that Kylie has been found dead. I'm heartbroken for her mum and for all of her family and true friends. And I just hope that she gets the justice that she needs if foul play was involved. So guys, I'm going to be making further videos about Kylie Rodney's tragic death because I do feel foul play could have been involved and I really would like to explore all of the characters in this very bizarre and heartbreaking case. So guys, please tell me how you feel about this. Do you just think purely that it was an accident? Or do you think, like me, that maybe someone here has a very, very guilty conscience? 
Well, as always, guys, I look forward to reading your views. Tell all of your family and friends that you love them because you never do know the last time that you're going to see them.